to remember all that God has done for us, how many times he's pulled our backside out of the fire. God is good all the time. That guards our heart and soul. We remember that God is good all the time. And he is the one we're turning this over to, the one who makes all things beautiful in their time. Finally, beloved, Paul's fifth task for us is whatever, right? Whatever, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. I want all y'all to like call that up on your computer, that text from Philippians, and cut out that whatever part and put it on your bathroom mirror so that in the morning you will begin your day with whatever, with answering the whatever questions, with a positive Christian outlook as you go out your door. You'll look in the mirror and you'll find your answers for the day. And the answers will change, should change, day to day, for God's mercies are new every morning. Practice. What is true? What do you all know to be true? What is true? The words of Christ. The words of Christ are true. Standing on the promises of Christ our King. All right. What is honorable? What's an honorable thing? How about the stranger who just gave his kidney away to somebody he doesn't even know? It's a pretty honorable thing, right? What is just? An innocent man being taken off death row. What is pure? Oh, the first thing I thought of, you know me and dogs, there's that dog video with a great big German shepherd who adopts this little tiny scrawny kitten. It is so cute, it is so pure. The German shepherd made to be a protector, protecting the helpless. That is pure. You see, so think about these things, says Paul. And it was kind of hard to come up with them off the cuff, but you can do this. You'll see things that you can celebrate every day, according to this list, that have to do with the excellence of the kingdom. This is the day the Lord has made. In this way, we can rejoice and be glad in it. We stand firm in the Lord by practicing the positives. And yes, in this crazy world, there are still positives. If you charge up in the morning with prayers of supplication and a meditation on whatever, you know where your head's going to be when you step out that door of one mind with Christ. And that's going to make a heck of a difference when some little thing crops up between you and another human being. Stand firm in the way, this way, beloved, and the God of peace will be with you. And may everything that you do proclaim his good news now and forever. Amen.
As we come to our prayer time, I invite you to join me in concentrating and focusing on our prayers. After each petition, I will say, Lord, in your mercy, and the congregation will respond, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Lord, in your mercy. Good and gracious God, giver of all goodness, we thank you for today and all the days you have given us that have been times to love, to live with you, to enjoy the fruit of all your creation. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, today we lift to you the folks who have been in the way of the hurricanes. So many things coming over and over again to those same poor people. We ask, Lord, that you would sustain them and help those communities to recover. Lord, in your mercy. Father God, we lift to you people we know and love who are suffering at this time. You are the great healer and you can work all things together for good. So Lord, we lift to you Sandy and Charlie, Teresa's mom, Lord in your mercy. Father God, we are all doing our best to maintain your house for worship, for the shelter of your children, for the goodness of ministry in this place and time. Strengthen us, O oh Lord, and equip us to serve. Lord, in your mercy. Sometimes, O oh Lord, we are so overwhelmed we don't have any idea what's going on in the rest of your world. But you do, Father. These are all your children. We are grateful that the Spirit intercedes for us with sighs too deep for words. We lift to you your world, O oh Lord. Lord, in your mercy. 
Father, hear the needs of our heart. And be with us now as we pray the prayer that our Lord Jesus Christ taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Beloved, depart from this time of worship assured of God's love for you and of his plan. And may everything that you do bring the Lord of love glory and may his face shine on you. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.